Welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to learn and understand about chemical properties of carbon compound. In this category we are going to learn four main reactions. First is combustion reaction, second is oxidation, then addition and followed by substitution reaction. Combustion reaction means when any compound will burn and when any compound will burn it has to be and it must be the reaction with the oxygen because without oxygen the combustion cannot be possible. So this reaction is with the oxygen when any compound will burn and specifically here we are going to see with respect to carbon compounds. So when carbon compound will burn in presence of oxygen. In second reaction this is oxidation so when carbon compound will react with oxygen here it will burn in the presence of ox oxygen and here they are going to react with oxygen. So this both reaction are different. Then addition reaction and substitution reaction. In each category we are going to see that how saturated carbon compound will react and how unsaturated carbon compound will react. Now under saturated carbon compound only alkanes are there. They are single bonded hydrocarbons and all the valencies of carbon are satisfied in saturated carbon compounds. Whereas in unsaturated carbon compound, alkenes and alkynes are there. They are unsaturated because they all are double bonded and triple bonded compounds and, and in this compounds, carbon's valency is not completely satisfied with for hydrogen or with any other substitute group. So they have to make double bond and triple bond to satisfy their valency. That's why they are unsaturated hydrocarbons and here alkanes are only under saturated hydrocarbons they, because all the carbon are single bonded and all the valencies of carbon. Carbon has four valency and all the valencies of carbon have been satisfied with either hydrogen or any other substitute group. So, single bonded hydrocarbons are saturated, they are alkanes. Double bonded and triple bonded hydrocarbons, alkenes and alkynes, they are unsaturated hydrocarbons. Now, let us get into the details with all these reactions. Our first reaction is combustion reaction. Combustion reaction means when any carbon compound is burning. When any car carbon compound is burning, it is going to react with oxygen because without oxygen the burning is not possible. So when carbon, all the allotropic form of carbon, when carbon will burn, it will give us carbon dioxide, heat and light. So, so here carbon, all the allotropic form. Now allotropic form of carbons are graphite and diamond. So when carbon will burn, it will give us carbon dioxide, heat and light. When any compound will burn, it is going to react with oxygen because the, without oxygen, the burning is not possible. Now, these are some of the reactions. When carbon will burn and it is going to react with oxygen, so it will give us carbon dioxide. When methane, that is a saturated hydrocarbon, will burn, it is going to react with oxygen. It will give us carbon dioxide, water, heat and light. Here alone carbon atom was there, so it was producing carbon dioxide. But here hydrogen is also present in this molecule, so that hydrogen will react with oxygen and it will give us water molecule. Now in third reaction, this hydrocarbon is reacting with oxygen. Now what is the name of this hydrocarbon? Check how many carbon atoms are there. There are two carbon atoms present into this, so it is belongs to ethane. It is belongs to the ethane category which has two carbon atom. Now let us check that valency of the carbon is satisfied or not. So with there are two carbon. With one carbon three hydrogen are there. So three hydrogen are attached to the first carbon. Now with the second carbon atom two hydrogen are attached. And along with that the OH group is there. Now this OH group is alcohol. And it will give suffix OL to this molecule. So here you can see that there are no double bond and triple bond. That means it is going to be ethane and not ethene and ethane. If there is a double bond then ethene will come. And if there are triple bond then ethane will come. But this is 
single bonded hydrocarbon so that's why it is alkane and ethane will come now we have to attach this name with its suffix that is belongs to the substitute group so the name of this compound is ethanol so this is ethanol if you have any doubt regarding the nomenclature of hydrocarbon or how to write the structure from the name then please refer my video based on the structural formula of hydrocarbon it would be really easy after that to identify the molecule and to write a reaction so when ethanol is going to react with oxygen we will get here carbon dioxide and water molecule and heat and light energy here we will get the hydrogen and water combination because hydrogen is present in this molecule so this is a generalized reaction when carbon compound is burning we will get carbon dioxide heat and light but if that is a hydrocarbon if hydrogen is attached to that we will get additional water molecule in that product now these are some of the important points of combustion reaction that when saturated hydrocarbon will burn it will give us clean flame but when unsaturated hydrocarbon will burn that means alkene and alkyne will burn it will give us yellow flame and lot of black smoke it will produce and it is also referred as sooty deposit and it is also known as sooty flame the flame which is coming out along with the carbon particle so that is known as sooty flame we have often seen that when any candle is burning and if we are keeping any vessel on top of that flame we will get some carbon deposit or particles so if that is more when any garbage is burning or when any paper is burning we have often seen that that black color particles are coming out of that that is referred as a sooty flame is that amount of the carbon deposition is more than it is referred as a black smoke and that flame is re referred as a sooty flame and that is also known as sooty deposit now when a limited supply of air will be there that means when any hydrocarbon is burning and it is not getting enough amount of oxygen then in that case saturated hydrocarbon will also give us sooty flame because when any carbon is burning it requires enough amount of air that means it requires enough amount of oxygen if enough amount of oxygen is not been available to that flame or to that combustion then some of the carbon particles will remain unburnt and that carbon particles will come out as sooty flame so that's why saturated hydrocarbon will give us clean flame when enough amount of air is present or when enough amount of oxygen is present but when limited supply of air is there in that case saturated hydrocarbon will also give us sooty flame now coal and petroleum will also have some amount of nitrogen and sulfur into them so when they are burning they will release oxides of sulfur in and nitrogen in the atmosphere sulfur dioxide sulfur trioxide nitrogen oxide and nitrogen trioxides are the example of this oxides so when this oxides are released into the environment they are result as acid rain and they are giving acidic property to the rain water that's why they are referred as a major pollutant in our atmosphere so coal and petroleum are having some amount of sulfur and nitrogen into them when they will burn they will give oxides of sulfur and nitrogen last point is complete combustion will always give us blue flame we have seen that when lantern is burning or stove cooking stove is burning it will always give us a blue clear blue flame but if the holes of a burner from where the flames are coming out if holes are blocked then enough amount of air is not being available to the fuel so whatever fuel is burning is burning with limited supply of the air so that's why it will result into the blackening of the bottom of the vessel when we are keeping any vessel on the flame it will get blackened and that is a result because of the complete combustion is not happening or incomplete combustion 
So we need to clean those holes so that the complete combustion of fuel will be possible and it will save some of the fuel for us. So when you can see a clear blue flame out of a gas stove or a lantern then that is complete combustion and when it results in a sooty deposit or it will show some of the sooty flame then probably the holes of burner or gas stove have been blocked. Our second reaction is oxidation reaction. What is oxidation reaction? In which oxygen is combined with the reactant that is named as oxidation reaction. For example, oxides of carbon. When carbon is attached with oxygen, the carbon dioxide is referred as oxide of carbon. Similarly, oxides of hydrogen is water because hydrogen is attached with oxygen. So anywhere when hydrogen is attaching with the oxygen, so that reaction is referred as oxidation of hydrogen and which is producing oxide of hydrogen that is water molecule. So when any atom is combined with oxygen, it is producing oxide of that particular element. So that reaction is referred as oxidation reaction. Here we are going to learn that when alcohol is converting into acid. So this is oxidation reaction and here we are going to use two of oxidizing reagent. That is alkaline KMnO4 that is potassium permanganate or acidified K2Cr2O7 that is potassium dichromate. This too referred as oxidizing reagent because that will add oxygen to particular molecule. So here either this or this when we are using in presence of heat that will add oxygen to this molecule and it will convert into acid. So that's why these two reagents are referred as oxidizing agent and there are many oxidizing reagent into the chemistry but in this particular equation we are going to use alkaline potassium permanganate or acidified potassium dichromate. Now here what is a reaction that when CH3CH2OH so this is ethanol so three hydrogens are attached to first carbon two hydrogens have been attached to second carbon and here OH that is substitute group have been attached. Now when it is Converting into CH3COOH, into that first carbon is attached with three hydrogen atoms and this carbon has carboxylic acid group. Now this substitute group has a structure that is C is attached with double bond with oxygen and OH is attached to this carbon atom alone. So this is referred as carboxylic acid group. So here alcohol is converting into carboxylic acid group compound and that is acetic acid in which oxygen is being added to this molecule and that's why this reaction is referred as oxidation reaction. So here this is ethanol which is alcohol. So in this reaction alcohols are being converted into acids. This is acetic acid and this is ethanol. Our fourth reaction is substitution reaction and normally the saturated hydrocarbon will undergo substitution reaction and normally saturated hydrocarbons will undergo substitution reaction. What is the meaning of substitution reaction is for example we have this hydrocarbon and it is saturated hydrocarbon that means all the valencies of carbon are completely satisfied. So this are relatively unreactive compared to unsaturated hydrocarbons because in unsaturated hydrocarbons there are double bond and triple bond into this carbon's valency is not completely satisfied so they are reactive they are in a need of some of more hydrogen or substitute group so that's why they are reactive they will undergo reaction very easily but saturated hydrocarbons have all the carbon valences satisfied with hydrogen or any other substitute group. So they are relatively unreactive. So it is difficult for them to undergo a reaction. But when we will get any atom which is reactive compared to the hydrogen, then 
substitute reaction will happen. Now what is the meaning of substitution reaction that if there are hydrogen over here in this hydrocarbon then we have to remove one of the hydrogen and we have to add any other atom to here because already all the valencies of carbon have been satisfied. So if you want to add anything you have to remove one of the atom and that's why it is substitution. You are removing one of the atom and then you are adding one of that because here there is no more vacancies. So that's why it is known as substitution reaction in which first you have to remove one atom and then you have to add one atom and that is known as substitution reaction. Here this reaction is substitution reaction in which methane will undergo chlorination in presence of sunlight. So we will get CH3Cl and HCl. With methane there are four hydrogens. And step by step, one after another, one one hydrogen is being replaced by the chlorine. So we have methane structure like this where four hydrogens are there. When chlorine is attached over here, there are two chlorine like this. So one chlorine will go and attached with the carbon atom and this hydrogen is detached from the methane and it is going to react with this Cl. So we will get as a result this molecule in which three hydrogen will be there and one hydrogen has been replaced with the chlorine. And this hydrogen which is detached from this molecule will attach with Cl. So it will form another molecule that is HCl. So this is chlorination reaction and it will happen in presence of sunlight. So here one hydrogen has been detached from this molecule and it has become CH3Cl plus HCl. Now in second step another hydrogen will be replaced from this molecule. So when CH3Cl will undergo chlorination it will give us CH2Cl2 plus HCl. In third step when CH2Cl2 will undergo this reaction it will form CHCl3 and HCl and last we will get CCl4 with this reaction. The last hydrogen will also be replaced by chlorine. So this reaction is very fast and one after another this chlorine molecule will replace all the hydrogen which are there along with the carbon. So from CH4 methane it will convert into CCl4 that is carbon tetrachloride. So hope this video has cleared your doubt. In coming segment we are going to discuss many more important concepts. So don't forget to subscribe learn yourself. I'll see you in next video till then keep learning keep sharing.